Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Real Talk Podcast. This is episode 21. Mm-hmm. I am your host as usual, Jackie Bryce. And I'm Jared Kiddo. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Really sinking into this rocky, rocky. Yeah. Sort of. I don't know. It's my go-to. It's my go-to, like, thing that I say now, isn't it? Well, you not go-to. Is. Yeah. yeah. You, you're becoming a man of many catchphrases. I am. I am. Well, at least I try to be. <laughs> I, I, don't want know, to be, I, I want to be remembered for my catchphrases that I stole from other shows. I just want to be remembered. <laughs> wow, that got sad. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> um, so, as many of you should bloody well know by now, uh, we just had uh, San Diego Comic Con, mm. the greatest nerd convention of all time. Yes. Yes, it was pretty good. Uh, where there pretty were good. many, many announcements and... Yeah. Things of varying different levels of excitement. Things that were not as exciting as maybe they should have been. Mm. But, you know, they were all pretty good stuff. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed 90% of the announcements. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, um, so, obviously, the big one will be Marvel's Phase 4. But we'll do a big thing about that at the end. Yeah. Um, otherwise, this is be another... Yet another <laughs> Marvel-based podcast. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, but like. Oh no, there's nothing wrong with that. But there were other things and trailers and whatnot that were announced. Yeah. You know. Hmm. We are duty bound to report all of them. Yeah, but don't um, get me wrong, Marvel is. But Marvel is, is the numero uno announcement of that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of the yeah the the weekend. Yeah. A um, few trailers released. Um, I think we'll start with the one that looks like complete garbage. Which is... Cats! <laughs> what the hell, man? Just... <laughs> what did you call it the other day when you saw it? You, like, you watched it, you put your phone down, and then you, you called it, it was like a furry's wet dream or something. Yeah, I said it was, yeah, it was like a furry's <laughs> wet dream. I mean, like... Um, I because d- it, doesn't, it doesn't look... It doesn't look believable. Like, the, the stage show where they're all in leotards and fake fur looked more believable than this garbage. <laughs> and, like, don't get me wrong, like... I, never, I, I mean, I imagine you've never you've never actually seen it, but the musical, the Cats musical, is fantastic. Like, it's, like, really has earned, like, its right to be one of the greatest musicals of all time. Mm. And then they, they've got, like, they've got fantastic actors in this this rendition and like it may still be good i just i think it's going to take a lot for like not just me but like a lot of people to get past that yeah really trash looking uh i mean i went through like CGI. I, I went through twitter and a lot of people were like this looks like garbage <laughs> it does a lot of people weren't happy with the way it looked it just it, it just didn't look right it looked weird it does it just yeah it looks like they put no effort into it at all which is really kind of Sad because mm. yeah, like the people are in it. Like Dame Judy Dench is in it. Is she- Idris Elba oh. is in it. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. I mean James Corden's in it, but you know, nothing nothing's perfect. <laughs> and like I know what you're thinking. Like I also I kind of like James Corden. I don't mind him. I just feel uh, like he I does feel like his yeah his movies as of late have been. Subpar at best. What has he been in? I mean, he was Peter Rabbit. Was he? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> so, but he he is he is Broadway trained. Like he started off on stage shows and all that stuff. So yeah. It does stand to reason that he would be in a rendition of his stage show, like an adaptation. You it's think? just it's just the CGI that really bothers me. Like. The music that's in it is great. The way they do the trailer is great. It's just I can't. Mm. I well, they really could have gone. They could have gone Lion King with it and just made it actual cats. No, because that wouldn't have worked. Yeah, no. Like the way they did it makes sense. It's just poorly executed. Yeah. So I mean, it's just, I, I'm I'm gonna go see it. I've never seen. Like, I'd I, I'm go gonna see, see it because I think you should you should see it, and then when it comes back. As a stage show, we'll go see it, we'll go and see it together mm. because I think we're going to see Curse Child. Curse Child at some point. Yeah, if it finally makes its way down to Sydney, uh, there's actually a few stage shows I kind of want to see. Like, um, 
the School of Rock. Oh, yeah, they turned that, that looks pretty good. So. I didn't... The movie itself, I didn't mind the movie. I like the um, I like the soundtrack more than I like the movie. I think it's gained itself somewhat of a, a cult following over the past, like, four or five years. Yeah. Like, it was good. It's always been, like, it's something that I've enjoyed. It just seems a bit weird that it, it has become as popular as it is. Yeah. Um, but then we're getting a bit off topic again. Yeah, true. Oh, well, we always get off topic. We do. We are. We may as well be you said to me topic. before. We, you said to me before the podcast, no tensions. And I didn't promise you anything. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And then yeah. I and you triggered were the, first the first one, one to <laughs> trigger a tangent. That's, yeah. It's okay when I do it. <laughs> it's not. It's really not. <laughs> really need to stop doing that. Um, <clears throat> but that's fine. Uh, there was another another wonderful the wonderful trailer, um, which you probably don't care about at all, for Picard. Sorry? Picard is the, uh, or Jean-Luc Picard, is the uh, the captain of the, I think he is the captain of the Enterprise in Star Trek. Oh. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so they're, they're really going all in for this, this reboot of a, like a, yeah. like a well-beloved franchise. Yeah, you're you you were right. I don't really care for Star Trek. I watched it. Look, yeah, I watched some, an episode yeah. yesterday of Star Trek, the one with the Patrick Swayze. Um, he was in it. I don't know what he was in it, but he was in it. But um, Patrick Swayze's in Star Trek. I mean, not Patrick Swayze. Patrick um, Stewart. Patrick Stewart. Why do they sound the same? They don't. <laughs> it's Patrick Swayze, Patrick Stewart. Yeah. Are they brothers? <laughs> No, they don't have the same last name. They've got the same first name. Yeah, one of them's dead. Um, Are you related to Jared Leto? Maybe. I don't know. No, you're not because Jeremy he's Blunt talented. Is. That's harsh. <laughs> and attractive. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'll, I'll be horrible on a podcast. Um, yeah, no, I... Well, I wasn't really. I was never. I never really got into Star Trek. I never got into Star Trek. It no, always seemed look, too fine. fake for me. Star Wars was like always one of those things where like it seems somewhat believable. Yeah, I feel like unfortunately people have separated uh, everything into people who like Star Wars and people who like Star Trek. It is actually possible to like both. Yeah, true, true. I uh, I just prefer Star Wars. I just think it's better. <laughs> and that's okay. You're allowed to be wrong. No, <laughs> obviously I love Star Wars. Like it's yeah, more. I mean, it's pretty much why we got got into this in the first place. Yeah, true. We just wanted to talk about Star Wars all the time. Yeah, and I mean that's okay. Like it's just it looks like an interesting take on like things that have happened before like rebooting Star Trek is not necessarily a bad thing they can fix those sort of problems yeah well it just doesn't hold up anymore I mean I mean but that's the beauty of rebooting anything if something is tired and old they can just you know make it better hopefully with technology and better writing yeah I mean exactly that's sort of the point of all of these things so like, we'll, we'll wait. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll watch it for sure. I mean, if you're going to go watch... Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, I, they can't see it, but, like, we're playing Watch Dogs again while we're, while we're talking, and um, you just jumped off a building. Yeah. You okay, I survived. It was fine. Yeah, there was blood all over the screen. I hate... Even in games, like, when you jump from a and very... You... Sorry. 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 <laughs> You might as well finish the tangent. Well, okay. But, like, even when you jump from a high... Jump from a high... <laughs> jump from a high uh, height um, in games, my stomach still... Like, my stomach still drops. Especially, like, if you jump off a cliff or something like that. It, it just... It feels weird. It feels weird to me. I hate it. Yeah, no, that's fair. I, I know a guy who, even in video games, can't stand swimming in open water. Oh, really? Yeah, like, it really bothers him. Ah, uh, that's... I think I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Like, people are so petrified of water, like, open water in general. It just, it freaks them out. Yeah. 
which I kind of get. But anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never again. Let's be real. Um, <laughs> but I mean, we are real. <laughs> oh, my best joke. I like or worst. It. I liked it. If um, you can make me laugh, that's all that matters. <laughs> You're the only person out of seven billion people that matters. Yes. How very romantic. <laughs> Um, there was another trailer for a TV show that is coming out, which, um, out of the three of us that live in this house and the two of us in this business, I was the only one to know anything about which was... his dark materials. Uh... Um, some of you, very few of you may remember a few years ago that there was a movie that came out about a little girl who was like some sort of magically attached to animals. And that's just. Oh, how the world was, and there was that. a giant armored polar bear in it. That movie sucked. <laughs> and yeah, he there was one cool part in the movie where uh, the one polar bear punched another polar bear's jaw off. <laughs> um, yeah, that movie. That was a what would be called a terrible adaptation of what is probably one of my favorite books of all time. Like what's it like? A series of books. I remember seeing that when I was like. A little kid, and then I we saw it because like my, me and my brother went to go see it with my mom mainly because we saw a polar bear with armor that could talk. We thought it was an action movie, and just I can remember being so bored. And then when it got to the action part, I was not interested at all. Yeah, so I mean the book is kind of like that. It's very sort of there's action in it, but it's sort of I guess kind of politically driven. It's very like. 1984. Yeah. Sort of like there's a, a government that runs everything called the Magisterium and they're kidnapping kids and experimenting on them. And yeah. They're just general, just all around shitty people. Yeah, they're dicks. Yeah. Um, which is to be expected. Sort of any sort of in any like post-apocalyptic type. Is it post-apocalyptic? Uh, not really. It's... I think we can like... It's very like... It is very George Orwell. Yeah. Um... Like, I'm pretty sure in any movie where there's an organization or a branch of government that are, like... To- like Any th- sort of totalitarian Any sort of totalitarian is. government in any movie is is arsehole. Like, they're dicks. Like, they're absolute knobheads. Yeah, <laughs> that's sort of, I guess, kind of the point. Yeah. But, yeah, anyway. So, it's about that. And this one, this time, it looks like they're, they're following the book. Very, very closely. Mm. Um, which is good because that's why people liked it in the first place. Shocker, they're gonna do some shocker, they're gonna follow something that actually worked. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what they did with the It movie. Look how that turned out. Everybody fucking loved it. It was fantastic. Yeah, um, so it looks pretty good. Like the casting seems to be relatively good. There's a few unknowns in there, like you've not seen much of, and then there's James McAvoy. I thought I heard his voice. Who fucking love I fucking love James McAvoy mm. the man can do no wrong <laughs> like really he's just genuinely has he made a bad movie yet uh oh Wanted Wanted yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was not his finest work but even that like has its merits does it <laughs> yeah it does like yeah it's, it's enjoyable I enjoy watching it the slow motion scene where yeah, the car rid- flips over the limo yeah, sorry like, it's ridiculous <laughs> And I kind of, I kind of liked it. Yeah, yeah, it has its merits. I will stand by that. It has its merits. I watched it recently, and I only found out, like, I only just realized that Chris Pratt was in that movie. And that was yeah, like one he, of his first movies, wasn't it? Yeah, he plays a plays the, the dick. Like yeah. he plays like not a dick. He plays like no, yeah, he plays a dick. He sleeps with his girlfriend. He does. Yeah. yeah. Spoilers if you haven't seen Wanted. It's like in the first three minutes. Yeah. That's fine. So yeah, it's a it's a weird thing that they brought up that sort of came out of nowhere. But I'm glad, I'm I am I'm glad that they uh, I'm glad they did it because it makes sense. I'm getting just gonna straight get hit by that car. <laughs> you didn't even run. You just walked out. Well, I was trying to truck. stop it. Huh? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's a few, and then obviously that was the the last of the major trailers released. Varying levels of talent. Mm. Uh, varying levels of excitement. Yeah. Obviously, they did the trailers for Supergirl and Arrow, the final season, and The Flash. And honestly, is anyone still watching which has 
no, I, I'm not. It's just... I stopped watching Arrow, for example, like, maybe after halfway through the second... What season did, like, there was a massive earthquake and then half the city was destroyed? That's the first season. Yeah, I stopped watching after that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It you missed the best season. I did? Yeah. Which was... Season two. Is that the death one? Deathstroke in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, I remember watching a little bit of Deathstroke. That was probably... He was probably one of my favorite characters, mainly because he was Australian. It's badass. But, um... He's from New Zealand. No, he's not. He's Australian. He's from New Zealand. He's Australian. He's from New Zealand. Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> He's Australian. His name is Force. Manu. Yeah, the the fucking actor is from New Zealand. Uh, yeah, well, the He's character. In the, is, <laughs> the character is from Australia. He's Australian Task Force. Okay, and, he's Anzac Task Force. Do you know what Anzac stands for? Yeah, I know what Anzac stands yeah, for. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> like you and fucking Australians, and they're just oh yeah, he's from around here, therefore he's ours. Yeah. That's all we got. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. We don't have much claim to much, all right? Let us have this. No, I'm giving it to New Zealand. <laughs> they can have Manu and Pavlova. They have sheep. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm not doing this now. <laughs> yeah, fucking racist. Not a racist. Not a racist. You're just going on live on the, on the internet. To inform the entire world that New Zealand is fucked you. I did. I did. I say. Uh, did I say that? It was heavily implied. I did implied. say that. I did not say that. Heavily implied. You're heavily implied. I, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're a bad person. So You're much bad, rest. and you should feel bad. So much for us not going on tangents. I didn't expect you to say something that was just outright racist. <laughs> right? I expected more from you. Oh, well, you should. Clearly, I shouldn't have. <laughs> You're a bad person. Uh, I thought I was bad. You are. No, I'm not. I'm not racist. <sighs> You're a racist. <laughs> I'm not a racist. You are a racist. I love people. I love all peoples. You are a racist. No matter what they love. <laughs> you are a goddamn racist. Let's talk about movies. <laughs> no, I want you to admit on TV. Not on TV. It's the closest you'll get <laughs> to being a racist. I am uh, a racist. All right, okay, fine, I'm a racist. Yeah, yeah. You're goddamn right, you are. You just destroyed my image. You freaking racist. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, now we got that out of the way. Watch Dogs is such a weird game. Yeah, he attacked me. Yeah, but yeah. So, Marvel, should we talk about what they didn't announce before we talk about what they did announce? I think that's the uh, the safe way of doing this. Yeah. Um, so there was a thing at the end of their, their Hall H conference where he was like, oh, I didn't get a chance to talk about like Fantastic Four and Black Panther 2 and Guardians 3 and Mutants. He wants to talk about Mutants, mm. um, which I can't say I'm particularly surprised about. On account of, like, those for a very long time having been Marvel's, like, flagship comic books. Yeah. So it really makes sense that they would want to turn those into MCU movies ASAP. God damn it. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that makes sense. I can't think of anyone who's not excited for the MCU to finally make those characters good. Yeah. Um... Any, any complaints? Anything you want to particularly see from? Mm, I mean, I'm excited to see what they can do with Fantastic Four. Um, Inhumans, uh, not really that excited about because I've never really read the comics for Inhumans. It, Internals? I mean, in, the Internals. I was say, Inhumans, they made already, didn't they? No. They turned it into one season of a TV show and oh, they cancel right, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's crap. Right. Sorry, um, The Eternals. Yeah, I never really read The Eternals. Everyone really told me that they were kind of hit and miss. Like, you told me that, a few other people told me that. And, yeah, it's um, a bit of a... Yeah. Yeah. They have some good... They have some really good good arts, and then some... Pretty... Really average standard ones. ones. Yeah. But, um... 
No, no, I'll probably, it's a Marvel movie, so I'm going to go see it. But, I uh, mean, yeah, we are obliged to go yeah, see it. Yeah, we're obliged to go see it. But, um, so that's what I keep telling us. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think the one that I'm probably excited for, not the most, but the one that I'm pretty excited for is probably Fantastic Four. I just want to see Fantastic Four done right. Because I was really hoping that Fantastic was going to do it properly, but they just didn't just the mark completely. I had no faith in that. You had no faith? No. From the beginning, from its announcement, I had zero faith in Fan Fallstick doing it properly. Yeah. I walked, I saw it with like a good mate of mine and we walked out, didn't really say much, got back in the car and we looked at each other and went, did that suck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. sucked. That sucked big time. I, yeah. I don't know. That, that, but that's another thing for another day. Mainly Fox just can't can make a movie properly. Yeah, well, they're owned by Disney now, so they're going to start. <laughs> they pulled their head out of their ass. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, probably. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, biggest announcement, like official announcement for the weekend would be, I don't know, what was yours? What did you get the most hyped for? The most hyped? Yeah. It can't be that. It can't be that. No, I know no. exactly what you're thinking, and yeah. we're going to talk about that at the end. Yeah. Probably Thor. Thor, uh, um, Love and Thunder. Yeah? I, yeah. Yeah, I can... I'm I can. excited to see how they end Thor's story. If they end if Thor's they story. If they end Thor's story. Because apparently, um, is this... Did I... I don't know where I heard it from. Someone said it was like a prequel, or it was like between... Um, it's prior to Guardians 3. So it's prior to Guardians 3. So, because a lot of people are saying, uh, is this... So it's so like, before Guardians it's 3. It's before Guardians 3. So right. okay. at some point over the next, I don't know, what was it, like 2020? Like yeah. Two and a half years, they have to come up with a, uh, a good reason for Thor not to be with the Guardians of the Galaxy. I think he's just along for the ride. Like, I don't think he's actually going to be part of the Guardians. Yeah, but you don't get to set that up and then not explain like how he got dropped off and all this stuff. Like, this, oh, is, this is the MCU we're talking about. Yeah, true. But you don't just get to throw a couple major characters together and then just cancel it. <laughs> yeah, fair, fair. Um, I mean, they'll, they'll probably come up with a relatively decent excuse. Hmm. Um, I hope. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> I'm excited to see what they do with like the TV shows, um, especially the What If, uh, the Marvel What If TV series. We know very little about that show, yeah. other than that it will apparently be done from the perspective of the Watcher. Is that a character, or is the Watcher supposed to be like the audience? No, I think the Watcher as in the character of the Watcher, as in what Stan Lee's character was one of. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, so that's what he was. I thought he was just an astronaut. No, he was the Watcher. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, I'm excited. And that's all. And that's an animated show, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I know one of them is mm. definitely a animated show. Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, no, that, that's, that's fine. I don't want to go, yes, I believe it is, but I don't want to give it the firm, yes, it yeah. is 100% a... Uh, Animated film. One of them is animated. Mm. I have a feeling it's maybe Shang Chi. No, please don't tell me Shang Chi is animated. <laughs> no, not Shang Chi. Oh. I'm actually like I'm excited. Yeah, no, it was what if. What if this is the first animated series in the MCU? Oh, sick. Yeah, no, I it, I I suspected that it was. But then also in my head somewhere it was Shang Chi. Yeah, and base and I'm thinking like, is it like kind of like? Do you think they did that because everybody because Marvel is so like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the audience has been like ever since it started or ever since like Avengers pretty much, um, people have been kind of like coming up with little theories and all that kind of stuff and people were asking, well, what if they did this or like, 
yeah. So do you reckon like they did that because they wanted to show the audience that, yeah, we were listening and we took on what you were saying? I think that they are leaning heavily into um, multiverses. Are they? Because they hinted it with... They hinted it with um, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, but we all kind of knew that's not where that was going to go. Yeah. And then they um, they introduced... It looks like that will be the entire basis of Doctor Strange. Yeah, the... Um, which is the Multiverse of Madness, madness. Um, which apparently will be Disney's first ever horror film. Oh, I'm excited for that. Which is interesting, because that also includes um, Scarlet Witch, um, Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet character. Witch is a, like, she is a scary character. Like, she can be a very scary character, can't she? Yeah, well, she is responsible for several deaths in the MCU. Yeah. Well, true. not MCU, in the, uh, like, the Marvel comics. Yeah. Um, I believe she has something to do with, I think, it's either Deadpool or Wolverine mm. breaking the freak out and killing everyone. Yeah, uh, but, uh, whether, I don't can't remember whether or not that was deliberate, like on one of her, her villainous rampages, or whether she did it by accident. Yeah, because like she made the Hulk go absolutely berserk. Yeah, that's a like that's empty. You can so yeah, it would make sense that maybe in her struggle to come to terms with the fact that she blew up her boyfriend, he was then reversed in time and then had his fucking brain ripped out. Yeah. Uh, I imagine that would, um, yeah, that would mess that, that, would, that would stuff the dude up. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, but like she has had a little bit of, I think they kind of teased a little bit of her horror kind of vibe to the character in age of Ultron. You know, in that scene when she's first like doing stuff and there's like really creepy, there's a really creepy shot of her walking backwards like fast pace and then the doors shut almost like it's unna- like it's very unnatural to the- it's like very unnatural yeah no yeah. I, I yeah I'm 100 percent with you here. like it's her it makes sense yeah that she would be in a horror yeah. film I mean her name is I Scarlet Witch She's can't witch. see her being the villain uh maybe I, I, I don't could. I just her character yes I can't see Disney taking one of their only remaining like first tier superheroes and making her a villain. Yeah. It just doesn't seem Well no, I, I, I don't think that they'll make her a villain. I have a strong feeling that they're gonna make her kinda like because as you just said, you know, she saw her she saw Vision, like the person? No, the robot that she loves. Android. Android. Let's go with Android. Android. That she loves, Android she had to 21. kill him, and then turn time back, and then had his brain ripped out of his head. That would make anybody go insane. So I don't think she was... I, not, insane's a bad word to use. Like, go... I don't know, a little bit off the rails. Oh, that's just a different way of saying insane. But, you know what I mean. Like, she could be made a temporary antagonist just for that film. You know what I mean? Yeah... I mean, they could. I don't know. It's just, it's a weird one. It's a it's a hard, dangerous road really be going down. Yeah. Um. I mean, either way, we'll see. Like, it's gonna happen whether or not we we theorize about it. Mm. So. And that's a, and that's a, that's what I like about this thing. Like they just released the fate. Like they just released Phase Four, and already people are starting to make, you know, um, like starting to make uh, theories about what they think is going to happen, where it's going to be leading. I mean, we just wrote an article about where we think it's going to be leading. Yeah. Um, I mean, the other argument for her not being a villain is uh, WandaVision, which was also announced. So to have her have her own TV show, well, well, not her own TV show, but a TV show with Vision, and also then decide to go, fuck it, she's a villain. Yeah. Seems like a bit of a... It'd be a bit of an odd choice. Yeah, it'd be kind of backtracking. Well, it'd be like you, the two... It'd, yeah, it'd be like the two things are battling against themselves. Yeah, fair. Which 
wouldn't make any sense. Okay, that's... My god, where are you? Sorry. I keep on forgetting that no one can see what we're playing at the moment. Yeah, no, like, that's fine. Like, you just walked onto a crane playing watchdog. Like, just playing watchdogs, just walked onto a crane, and then people started shooting at you. I did not realize people took that crap so seriously. I'm in an area I'm not supposed to be in. Oh, yeah, fair, fair, fair. That's... <sighs> God damn, I didn't really get much sleep last night. Or this morning. And now we're just talking about how much sleep you've had. Yeah. We really stayed on track. Oh, yeah. We're yeah, doing our best. <laughs> <laughs> um, any other... So I think we'll just we'll run through the the lineup for those of you who haven't seen it. Head yeah. to our Instagram page. Hmm. Uh, there is an official timeline. It is Black Widow on May first, twenty twenty. Of all of twenty twenty is the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I believe that's a TV show. Yeah, yeah. The Eternals is November sixth of the same year. Yeah. Then we have Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. I assume. That means we're getting the actual Mandarin at long, long last. Yeah, I hope so. I really hope so. Um, Spring of 21 is WandaVision. Uh, About the same time is the Loki TV show, which we still still know very little about, but we assume happens at some point after he gets the Tesseract and before he goes back and arrests himself. Well, he has to. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how they play that play that one out. Um uh, May seventh of twenty twenty one, so the big May release of twenty twenty one is Doctor Strange. Yep. Uh that summer is What If. Uh the fall is Hawkeye, and then of November fifth, twenty twenty one is Thor, Love and Thunder. What a good name for it too. Yes, and at some point after that yeah, is Blade. <laughs> They're remaking Blade, Jared. I know. I'm it's so, so good. So happy. It's um so like it was rumored, but no one ever said anything about it. It was kept so secret, and I love it. So, Blade will be played by Mahashala Ali. Mhm. Which is probably that's really good casting, by the that way. That is fantastic casting. Yeah. It took me God. <laughs> it took me a long time to learn how to say his name. How do you say his name again? Mahashala Ali. Mahashala Ali. Get used to it because. Uh, he was in Green Book, wasn't he? Uh, I don't know. You were the only one who saw it. Oh, really? Yes. I thought you went to go see it. No, you watched it. I didn't get the chance. Oh. Thanks, so. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, he has been cast as Blade. He has been given Wesley Snipes' uh, Seal of approval, um, which doesn't really count for much because he spent time in jail for tax evasion, so I cop that. Did he? Yeah. Um, oh, classic Wesley. That's why he hasn't been in anything for ages. Um, yeah, so that's fun. Mm. I am very, very happy with Blade. I'm so excited. I love the way they announced it too. He just they didn't say anything. He just came out, put his hat on, and the entire crowd went apeshit. Yeah, if you can watch the video, uh, go watch it because they um they he does this thing where he, they they like they introduce him. They go, oh, we haven't had time to talk about blah 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 blah, blah and all this stuff, like all the stuff they haven't announced. Yeah, that we thought they were going to. And then he goes, um, and he just they introduce and he goes, ah, oh, yeah, why don't you come out? And he goes, and then he comes out, and they're like, oh, uh, we heard you bought your own hat. <laughs> yeah. How the... I don't know. Um, yeah, and he <laughs> just pulls out his hat, and he puts his black cap on, yeah. and it just says Blade, and then everything goes dark, and it just fades it's into the new Blade logo. I really want to get those hats. Really yeah, really you can, I mean, you can probably get them. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, if you went to Comic-Con, you Probably could have got them. No, I, I think you'll have to wait a few a few weeks, months, however yeah. much. I'll be happy if Zing gets them. That'd be nice. Yeah, before you can get them. But, well, I mean, we'll get some. Yeah, we'll get them. Hopefully by then we'll have our own hats, so it won't matter. Yeah. Um, 
Stay tuned for hats. Stay tuned for hats and t-shirts. <laughs> um, I mean, oh, there's just so much they could do with. I feel Blade like Blade as a character, and I can only, I can only theorize, and I'm cannot. I'm not saying that this is fact at all, but with the release, with the confirmation of Blade being in that, with the announcement of con- of Blade's confirmation being put into the MCU universe. With, sorry, I said that wrong. But I have a feeling that they're going to be moving towards kind of like the darker side of the MCU. So like Moon Knight, Daredevil, Punisher. Um, We've already got Daredevil and Punisher. Those are they could be those, those are MCU canon. I can't see them. Maybe Moon Knight. Maybe just Moon, Moon Knight. Knight. I can see there's a character called Black Knight. They could bring Punisher into the the MCU, like, I'd be fully okay with that. Mm. They did cancel the TV shows. People want, like, Daredevil and Punisher back. Jessica Jones and Luke Cage, not so much. Yeah. Iron Fist, I don't think anyone wants no, Iron Fist. I watched, like, a few episodes and I couldn't get into it. Um, he comes off less as a, like, a martial arts legend and more as a whiny little, whiny little shit. Yeah. Um, which is, yeah, not how that character is supposed to play out at yeah. all. Yeah. So he's not Tony Stark. He's like yeah, a well-trained, well, you know, yeah, centered person. I, I no, really wanted to like Iron not Fist. Not a little shit. I really wanted to like Iron Everyone Fist. Everyone wanted to like Iron Fist. They just don't. Yeah. <laughs> so that's fine. Well, um, I mean, they might they might bring him in. Now's the time. They're introducing more TV shows. So I would like to see an Iron Fist movie. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. They could introduce him. Uh, they could introduce his character or reboot his character in the Shang Chi movie. They could like that. That I'd be. I'd be more okay with because they kind of fall on the same line. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So well, I mean, literally anything could happen at this point, which is exciting and also mildly concerning for people like us because that just means that. It's just going to be super stressful. I can, <laughs> but it's I can, a good I can kind see of stress. I can see it now. But it's a good kind of stress. That's it's great. the stress that we want. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you follow our Instagram page, you can see the the how much just Comic Con has yeah. aged us, and we haven't even been. We, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's so hard to keep on top of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, it is whilst keeping actual real life jobs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> real life jobs suck. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's definitely fine. I'm definitely not having a mental breakdown. Yeah, me neither. It's it's okay. Yeah, yeah. no, I have no. I haven't snapped on the inside. <clears throat> snapped on the inside. I snapped on the outside. <laughs> and I thought they smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be the real talk podcast without some sort of Star Wars reference. Yeah, fair, fair. Um. So yeah, we've got a whole bunch of stuff coming. Yeah. Uh, and a whole bunch of shit that we don't actually know what's going to happen. So. Well, that's good. We want it, to be it, it is good. Like, it's definitely, like, it's, people go, oh, I, I, I want to know everything that's going to happen at all times. No, because that takes the fun out of it. Yeah. If you, like, knew if everything you know goes, what's going to happen, you are not going to enjoy it as much when it does. Yeah. So, just calm your tits. And <laughs> De-stress your breasts. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Contain the calamity that is your memories. <laughs> right, it's it's it'll be okay. Right, nobody wants to have everything spoiled for them. Yeah. At all times. Yeah. That's complete trash. Yeah. Especially not us, because we want to be excited about this stuff, and we yeah, already are. We we like liking things. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jared more so than anybody else. Fuck you, I like liking things. Exactly. That's just literally what I said. <laughs> For those of you listening at home, I'm death staring Jared. I can feel it. It's boring into his soul. Yeah. I'm watching you play Watch Dogs and I can feel you staring into my soul. Good. Yeah. How does that feel? How does it make you feel? Uncomfortable. Good. <laughs> Stop contradicting me. I wasn't contradicting you. You are a contradiction. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. I don't even know what that means. You don't make any sense. (laughs) I know you are, but what am I? Don't you steal that. That's mine. (laughs) No, it's not. I came up with that. 
It was shit before you were born. It's still shit now. Shut up. You <laughs> shut up. Shut up. You shut up. What are we doing? No, you shut up. <laughs> a brother bear reference. A brother bear. Oh. I can't remember that movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. Yeah, it made me cry. Yeah, well, everything makes you cry. Yeah, I'm emotional, all right? Sue me. I mean, is that an option? No, don't. You're suing your own company. <laughs> no, I'm suing you as a person. Yeah, you can have all of my zero dollars. <laughs> yeah, well. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> got you, bitch. <laughs> Aha, I got you, bitch. Oh, shit, it's a dog. Was a dog. I hit it with a stick. It's not a stick, it's a yo yo. Anyway. Anyway. Um, anything else? Anything else you're talking about? I can't really think of my. Oh, actually, like one last thing. There was. Have you seen the new Taika? I was going to show you. Uh, Taika Waititi has a new movie coming out. I have not. It's called Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit. Yeah. That makes sense. It looks very, very weird, yet very, very funny. So it's right up. Very, Taika. very Taika. Very, very Taika. So I'm very, I really want to watch the trailer again. I want to show you the trailer. And there's not really much I can say. Cause well, from what watch. I saw, from what I saw, it looked like it had took place in like Nazi Germany. Awesome. Yeah. So it looks very, so, and it looks kind of ridiculous. Like I saw Hitler being chased through the forest by a dog. So that sounds absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can't really think of anything else. I think we've kind of... We have talked about more or less everything. Yeah. Uh, which is good. Yeah. Um, I guess a formal apology for this not being on video is kind of in order. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, we were supposed to be on video. We did we? say that by episode 21, we would be on video. Yeah. But... Clearly, by the fact that you're looking at our logo, we're not. Um, I 100% take full responsibility for letting Jared let us down like this. You're an asshole. <laughs> uh, no, it was, it was it was it was a bit fifty fifty. It was like we just we decided there was no point like putting ourselves in a bit of financial insecurity. Yeah. Just to put videos. It is coming. We are hopefully in sort of the next two or three weeks. Uh, yeah. Gonna gonna do that. But you know, there's yeah. there's no point ruining the whole thing just because we wanted to push really soon. Also, like we've just recently moved in, like two or three weeks ago, and we still mm. don't have all the furniture we need. Yeah. Let alone, you know, like setting up a. a a studio or something for us to, to work in. Mm. Uh, but it is it is coming. It is coming along with a few other things that we're, we're working on. Yeah. Um, we are definitely going to Comic-Con yeah. this year. Yeah. Um, that is that is now 100% confirmed. Yeah. There's no way out of that. Um, not that we'd want to get out of that anyway. No. It's I've never fantastic. been to Comic-Con. I've always wanted to go to Comic-Con. Um, that would be uh, for those of you who haven't quite worked it out. Sydney Comic Con. Yeah. Uh, we're not going overseas just yet. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Don't have the money. <laughs> uh, but we will We will start doing some of that stuff. Oh, yeah. Soon. Uh, soonish. Soonish. As soon as we can. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll, we'll get there. Like, we promise we'll get there. Yeah. Um, so, stay. Like, obviously, follow our Facebook and Instagram feeds because um, that's where we, we put all of our announcements and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're already listening to the podcast, which is obviously the best thing you can do for us right now. Mm. Um, because if you're watching it, it means that other people are watching it too. <laughs> so go and tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Tell your mums. Tell your husbands. Tell your wives. <laughs> and let's be realistic. Nobody listens to us as in a relationship. Mm. Uh, we're, we're sad people. Uh, yay. We're going to bring the mood down, Jacob. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's, Our it's all audience we are, is listening to this going like, are they sad guys? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you would be correct. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all, it's all, it's all coming. We're all moving. Um, it, well, and hopefully once we've got the camera to do video content, that means that, uh, like, there'll be more? 
be more video content, more mm. than the usual amount of video content. I want to do a day in the life thing. Uh, we are working on the day in the life thing, but we need to do it properly. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's no if, ands, or buts. Like it's it'll happen. It's just a matter of making it happen the right way. Yeah. With the right amount of planning. And yeah, fair. All that. Yeah. Nonsense. But are we yeah. just, are we filibustering it? No, no, point? no. I'm just I'm trying to trying to think of what of the planned stuff we are allowed to announce compared to what we want to keep secret. Yeah, fair. Um. Oh my god, that dog! Every time. Every goddamn time. Every the dog. fucking time. Um. Anything you wanted to to add? Anything you're working on? You wanna wanna talk about your comic a little bit and stuff like that? My comic. Uh, I mean, I've you've... kind of hit a writer's block when it, it comes to comics. It does happen. It does happen. I've hit a writer's block for a few weeks now. I've tried to put pen to paper and nothing is coming out. That's 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 okay. Yeah, the no, the no. only idea that has popped into my mind is time travel for some reason. For some reason, time travel keeps on popping back in there. You have to be very careful with time travel. They, I know. <laughs> well, yeah. I think in comics you can make it work because comics can be as outrageous as you want them to be because the only limitation is how much ink you have in the pen. I mean, that is true. Yeah. To a certain extent. To a, Yeah. But also, like, you don't want to confuse the readers as well. Not with your first issue, no. No. <laughs> um, well, I guess for, uh, we, we can we can do a little, little thing. We'll do, like, a yeah. like a brainstorming session or something. Yeah. Um, we're still working on all that stuff. Like, we're going to do a few things. We're working on some choreography for some stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> not going to tell you, but we are working on but We are working on something that involves choreography. Yeah. <laughs> so you can imagine that being as straight or homosexual as you like. <laughs> what? Choreography? Yeah. Yeah, you got a point. Um, so you have all of that to look forward to and more. Yes. Yay. Yay. Um, <clears throat> so keep watching or keep watching, not keep listening. watching the Real Talk podcast. And because now we are genuinely filibustering. Yeah. <laughs> um, we did make it to 47 minutes today, though, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to stop there before I start, like, genuinely just rambling on and 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 on about random stuff. Oh, also, actually, I did forget something. We are about to start playing Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, yeah. Um, for yeah, the first yeah. time, we went and bought a starter set. So we went uh, out with some pre-made characters and stuff. We we may treat, uh, we may uh, tweak some backstories and way to make as much noise with a plastic bag on a podcast as humanly fucking possible. Sorry, thank I just you, want, Big Fudge. But I just wanted to read out. We got the Horde of the Dragon Queen. I'm excited to play that one. Um, so. It does currently look like, as well as hosting this podcast, I will be dungeon mastering the uh, D&D game, mm. uh, which is fine. It just means that I don't get to actually play. I get to be, you get to be your character, and I get to be every other character ever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm God. <laughs> um, have so you, have you, picked your, you picked your character. I've yeah? picked a character that I want to play as when I finally get to play as a character. Yeah. Um, with that being said... If we get a camera on time, uh, we will probably video. We'll, we'll probably video it, and yeah. we'll see how it comes out. And we'll, we uh, we may chuck that one up there, and you can watch us badly play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, um, which is fantastic. Uh, until then, this has been episode twenty one of the Real Talk podcast. If you would like to follow me on Twitter, I am. Review by Lich. And if you want to follow me on Twitter as well, you can follow me at Jared Kitto one um, All of these social media links are on the website at realtalkpcd.com. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you can also get to YouTube and SoundCloud, and um, both of our Twitter pages are Facebook feed. Uh, the only one you can't get to is Instagram. Yeah. Um, don't know what happened there. Uh, but we are real talk underscore pop culture discussions. All of these things. Just look for our logo. Yeah. Uh, we will be there. Um, send us a message. Yeah. You know. 
Send us a message. Send us a message. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things. We do want to hear from you guys. If Even you if have ideas. Just to, yeah. Like, abuse us. Yeah. Ab- abuse me. <laughs> well, I love it. Openly abuse us. If you got something nice to say, say it. But, like, yeah, talk to us. <laughs> yeah, talk to us. We're lonely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so go follow us on social media. Go and watch all of our, our previous Twitch stuff because until can IINet pull their fingers out of their bums and install our NBN, we are without internet. Mm. Uh, when we've got it, we will go back to doing live streams and things I do this miss doing live streams. Um, so until then, guys, as usual, keep it real. Keep it real, guys. Stay sexy. Ha! Oh, you stole it. I stole it from you. you. Son of a bitch. Cough that. <laughs> you son of a bitch.